we're going to check up on this real quick. Good. All right. So let's start this off with a little bit of preface to what we're doing. Um, this is going to be a modded walkthrough of Fallout 4. <clears throat> I'm having issues starting up a new game, so we're probably going to have to go off of a base save that I've already created and then... You know, being that it's modded, I can play around with the settings a little bit to get what I want. Um, I don't always recommend that, but it's part of the beauty of this game. Uh, so, before I begin, I have had a lot of stuff change since the last time I did a uh, video, especially one with the actually voice in it. Um, I've gotten married, i got a full-time job, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to make it, whenever I have a day off, that's actual day off. Um, trying to get on streaming something like one or two games uh, probably some smites you know maybe go back to wildlands but hopefully you know if this goes well we can do more fallout if not we'll see now I played a ton of fallout 3 back in the day when it first came out um, I really really enjoyed it uh, so much that I got it for PC Xbox you know the works okay this might work this 12 minute one right here um, <clears throat> with my PC, uh, the, yeah, I took all those off. With the PC game, I got into modding. I got into um, the modding community, started making my own, and I will tell you, you know, there are some people out there that say adding mods to games just it's finishing their work for them. No, it's not. I mean, it just adds so much more to the game. It adds so much, you know, replayability, so much different ways to tinker. So I got into that. And it went from, you know, 200 hours on Xbox to well over 1,000 hours on my PC. You know, over the years, I've just cracked out game after game after game, different ways to play, different companions, you know, and it quickly took over as my favorite game. Uh, of course. Um, by going through this and going through this little situation, you know, I appreciate the work that they put in and all the extra stuff that they added in so having this ability on xbox to sit here and say all right we're gonna add in mods for the console community to play around with now don't get me wrong i'd love to make my own on the you know on the console because lord knows it's probably a lot simpler than when you do it on the pc but you know having the ability to play these even though sometimes it's you know a lot of trial and error like right now um, it's, it just adds a lot to the game. So I, you know, I logged in a ton of hours for Fallout 3 and then I logged in a ton of hours for New Vegas. Um, going through and playing this, the first time, you know, I got Fallout 4 at launch, absolutely loved this game. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Now don't get me wrong, it has its own little quirks and bugs like, we'll see if I can even get into the game or if I can go downtown. But with that, there's so much extra stuff to this game that they really did a number on, you know, how much time they spent just going over the quick fixes, going over the voice scene, going over all this extra little nitpicky stuff that it makes this game so much better. Let's see if this goes. Um, that it makes the game so much better in terms of hours, replayability, quest lines. I mean... I've been through six or seven playthroughs. I've done every single ending, and I'm still finding new stuff to go and just explore. And, you know, mind you, I have a mod on here that shows me every single map point. I've been to every single map point, but there's still places that are not marked that have, like, you know, secret bosses, secret dungeons, you know, just crazy things that you look at and you're like, okay, this is pretty fun. I mean, this is interesting. Please load, please load. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. All right, let's see what we got. Um, I think this guy is spec weird. Okay, okay, yeah. So this is my base level save. Um, I was trying to figure out which one's which. As you can see, his you know special skills are fours across the board. I did this so that way I can tinker with them to my heart's content. Um, because he's got fours across the board, I don't feel like being... Oh, there's one mod. Um, I don't feel like it's right for me to just sit here and go, Okay, I'm going to spawn all ammo in the game. Or, oh, I'm going to add up and maneuver some things. So, 
I think there's a switch down here where I can readjust to what my playstyle is going to be. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Um, I'm going to try and gear this one more towards one of my favorite playthroughs, which is more of a stealth sniper build um, with a couple extra features like, you know, maybe two, three companions. They're all built the same. So, uh, okay, so that they don't have the numbers. God ring. Reset special. That's what I wanted. Okay. So now what I can do is place it how I want it. So with a sniper build, you want incredibly high perception. So let's go up to a 7. Let's see what we got. Alright, and then with strength, you want just enough to carry your gear. So let's get that to a 5. Is that 5? Yep. And then endurance. Nope, didn't want that. Endurance, you're going to want up to a 5 or a 7. Let's go with 6. That'll work. Snipers don't talk much, so let's drop that to a 4. You need to be very intelligent, so let's put that up to a 5 or a 6. Alright, that's starting to look good. You want to be very agile because, you know, you're not built for combat. You're built for sneaking up and running away. So let's get that up to a 7 as well. I actually don't keep track of how much I have. If I sound a little bit odd today, it's because I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, eh, it's like I'm kind of lucky. Just yesterday I was working from 7 to about... Eh, I got home about 6 a.m. So... You know, I'm still feeling a little bit of the drawbacks from that. <coughs> Let's see what we got. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit long of a stream. Maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. We'll see. Um, being that's my favorite game, uh, I'm not going to talk to you yet. It's one thing I don't agree with is the linearness of the first beginning area is just straight up annoying. Now what I'm doing right now, for those of you who have not played Fallout, which usually... Oh, I probably shouldn't delete that. Um, which most of you probably have. I'm just starting off and just decided, you know what, I'm going to just start scrapping things, get some materials before I head on out. Um, the first thing I like to do is get this stuff taken care of, and then I like to rush over to... Um, to Lexington and Concord and trying to grab as much gear as possible but also save the uh, save a faction over there and you know I'll let for those of you who have not played this I'll let you kind of hear the story you know I've played it so many times it's not like I need to know it but I'm gonna be kinda kind on this I'll try not to talk over everybody but the number one thing is, uh, starting out, because you didn't get to see the start, <clears throat> you are an American citizen who lives in Sanctuary Hills near Boston. You are from a pre-war family, you, your wife, and your kid, your son, Sean. You lived in one of these houses, actually, right here in Sanctuary. Uh, if I'm correct, it's the one where he's standing in front of. And... You were selected right before the bombs fell to go into Vault 111. And Vault 111 is a government sanctioned vault to save people from nuclear disaster. Uh, the United States has been just at war with everybody since the resource wars back about 200, 300 years ago. Oh, there's my supply stuff. Um, and. With that, they started, you know, blowing up everybody. They annexed Mexico and Canada. Um, Russia and China are not on good terms with the U.S. at this point. So, something sparks the Chinese to start launching missiles. You and your family are still at your home. New York gets blown up. Washington, D.C. gets blown up. And then eventually, Boston gets blown up. So you run to the nearest fallout shelter, which is actually where we started out. <clears throat> you get let in, and as you're descending, a nuclear bomb hits Boston and almost kills you. 
Once you get down there, a vault's supposed to be basically like a living house underground. Hence why it's called a vault. Um, you are locked in there until it's safe to come back up and restart the population. Well, this one is particularly odd because it's not really a vault for living in, per se. It's a vault for cryostasis for them to test the effects on non-irradiated individuals. You and your family don't know this. They trick you into jumping into a stasis pod and they freeze you. You are frozen for a good 230, 240 years and in that time frame somebody starts waking people up. Well, you get woken up, you're still in your cryostasis and your wife in the pod across from you has your son with her. All of a sudden you see a man and um, somebody in a science suit come and try and take Sean, your son, from your wife. And your wife fights back, he shoots her, and you're locked in. This man refreezes you and then takes your son away. <clears throat> you don't know what time frame that happened, but you do know that your son was just kidnapped and your wife was murdered. You can play as a female too and it flips it to where your husband was murdered. Um, and by going through this, you understand that, okay, well, I'm in pretty much the future. Everything's pretty much destroyed, but I need to find my son and get revenge. And that's kind of the premise of this story. Now, I've studied a lot of Fallout universe and everything, you know. There's some great videos online all over. Uh, I think his name's Oxford. Oxford, he's one of my favorite to watch. He has all the background lore to almost every single thing that happened. And <clears throat> with all this extra stuff, it pays to know this lore when you're playing this game through. There are little hints and jabs at it. You know, some fun. We'll see if I get to any of those. And if I do, I'll, you know, let them say their piece and then I'll explain why it's funny, you know, that's the best jokes, you know, you learn afterwards, but, um, I'll explain the little jabs and all the little inside hints and such as we go along, and maybe if this one actually does well, if, you know, I don't know if people still watch my videos or not, um, if this one goes well, I might, you know, load up Fallout 3 or New Vegas and do a stream on there, I'll have to figure out whether or not I can do it on my PC or not, that's something I should probably solve, um, Alright, and what I'm doing right now, this is just scrapping. Um, I have a mod enabled, it's called Scrap Fallout or Tidy Fallout. And you can basically scrap everything with the exception of certain, like, uh, Scrap Fallout lets you... Um, lets you scrap most of these leaves and such, but I think one of my mods is glitching, which only allows me to scrap material items, so... And... Point of stasis. Oh, come on. There we go. Much better in first person. There we go. I'm going to try and limit as much freezing and stopping as possible. There are some areas of the game, as I said before, that just decide they don't want to load. Um, it'll go down to like maybe five frames per second. You know, you'll just be choppy. With those, I have a mod workaround, um, but the problem is the mod workaround is non-canon. It's really, it's really cheating, but, you know, to make a video at all, or even run a stream in this game, sometimes it's necessary, so. But yeah, all I'm doing is collecting resources. Um, I have no mods that will make me get more resources for scrapping, but, um, by doing this, I can start editing, I can start making a base. You know, I like to, before I get people, because you can make your own settlements in this game. One of the beauty, you know, of Fallout 4 is the base building. And so, with that, you can make your own settlement, you can get people to come, uh, defend your settlement, work for you. You know, a bunch of cool stuff. And by doing this, if I like to prep it before we get any settlers or anything, it makes it so much easier in the long run because nine times out of ten your settlers are going to be kind of dumb. They don't really work well. 
I do have a mod enabled, which allows me to make um, some extra places like barns, warehouses, stuff like that. So, uh, and you know, mind you, again, sort of cheating, but it's not exactly fun to sit there and watch me tinker for so many hours without actually doing anything in the game. So. I'm trying to make it as painless as possible, so that way I don't have to deal with anything extra on my videos. I might even, you know, don't get me wrong, I hate when people do this, but I might play offline a little bit just to get my base built up. Um, and then afterwards I might still stream it, so let me, let me see what I got. Okay. I probably shouldn't have built it like that, but yeah. So all I'm doing right now is making my kind of place to live. Here we go. And mind you, you never have your own personal room. Uh, the settlers in here really don't have manners. They will just decide, you know what, I'm going to move in with you. So you just got to kind of roll the punches. I think I have, yep, defep. That's what I like. Um, this is a mod as well, but this one is very useful. So you can make all these different styles of beds with this mod, um, institute type, pre-war beds, bunk beds. Um, I personally like the bunk beds because it adds two beds per one build. So for settlements, they have certain requirements. So if you look at the top, there's people, which will tell you how many people are in your settlement, food, water, you know, necessary, power, defense, and beds. Beds is a very big thing for happiness, which is the far right with the smile. Um, if you want to get the achievement for 100% happiness, you need the proper amount of beds for everyone. Otherwise, they get grumpy, they get cranky, and you'll never hear the end of it. Um, with food and water, obviously, everyone knows you need food and water. It's just it's part of life. So with that, um, this also helps out with that. And... Power isn't really needed for the 100%, but it is very welcome. Um, you can power stuff like lights, uh, kill switches, booby traps, turrets, you name it. So I'll probably build some of that too. Um, and pardon defep being you know a big mod. I'm trying just... Once you get to a certain point in this game, you realize how tedious it is to get anything running. So with defep, I can just... For a water resource, instead of having to power anything, just and slap it down. Whereas, I'll run this normal water. So you can start off with the hand crank. This requires zero power. <coughs> Powered pump, which requires zero powder, power and zero water. Water purifier and industrial water pur purifier, which requires water source to draw from. Because we're in Sanctuary, which is the base is kind of tutorial, we have a pretty good source right next door. Oh, I just leveled up. Now, for power, uh, it doesn't tell me how much you need. There you go. So, with these, each one requires resources, which is what I was doing earlier. And to get these resources, you'd grab, you know, you grab junk from just anywhere. I'm talking, like, you can haul it from... The other side of the map, over there by that water tower, you know, you name it. You bring it back here, you deposit it into your base, and you can use it. For right now, um, I don't require that much power, so we're just going to make a basic generator. And due to some mods that I play with, um, it doesn't even tell me how much resources are required for that. So, we'll have to kind of wing it. But with that, now if you look at the top, it says... Water, 10, power, 3, and 8 beds. Um, if I'm correct, the settlers I'm going to grab are about 7 or 8 people. So, we should be good on beds. And just because I don't trust anything in this game, I'm going to play some turrets. Because, you know, raiders like to come in, say hi. Um, bugs, death claws, depends on how high of a level you are. Now, these are the basic turrets. They only provide 5 protection, but for right now, just starting off, that's what you need. You can get 360 turrets, laser, shotgun, spotlights, laser turrets that are faster, missile turrets. This is a modded turret, which hopefully I'll get the skills for that. Um, very, very dangerous and deadly, so yeah, 
we'll see how that goes. Um, then a storage chest. If I remember correctly, there we are. So I always do the big trunk is always my armor chest. Um, I fill it full of whatever armor I feel like using. And then this is my ammo box, usually. So weapons, ammo. Uh, crap that I just don't feel like carrying. And explosives. So that'll actually be good setup for right now. I'm not going to sit there and tinker with everybody because... I just know how annoying it is to sit there and be like, all right, I'm going to do this and this and this. And it's just, it's repetitive. Again, I might play some offline just so that way we can get stuff done. I can get um, some more fun things up, show you guys some cool tricks with this game. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a chem station back here. Now, a little bit of cheating, just a tiny bit. Um, I can't stand the weapons they gave me. So, <clears throat> these are some of my extra, you know, loving cheats. So, I have, like, army uniforms, um, green beret, marine uniforms, tank commanders. This is create your own followers, army helmets. There we go. Colt 1911. M1 carabine. Huh, that's new. But I can make like a canine harness, identification chips, Mark 14s, um, Desert Eagles, you name it. I have the ability to make all that stuff. So let's get me a helmet. And I also know the location of some pretty decent gear, so... Um, should just be a uniform, but... I guess I'll just go with my general's uniform. And then I can obviously spawn on any item that I want. You know, the mods kind of make it super easy. See, that's what I'm working to right now. But I need to get armor one, so I think I can level up into that. Let's see. Now with this, you just hit Y in the Pip-Boy. It'll bring up all your skills. You can level up the special skills, what I reset at the beginning of this, or you can pick a special skill under it. So, being that this is the first skills we're going to choose, I can do armor and I can get that ghillie suit. Or I can get gun nut, which will give me the extra abilities to make mods, gun mods, not real mods. But what I might do, let's see. I don't have the sniper skill yet, so... Let's go with this, just because it does a little bit more damage. Should work. And I should find a place to put this. Um, this armor is a modded armor that uh, you can pick up really early if you know where it is. And I'll just show you what it looks like, just because I have it here. May lag up the game a little bit, but it's it's basically power armor that doesn't need to be powered. It's a great mod. Um, kind of reminds me of Mass Effect, but uh, yeah, you can make it camouflage. You can customize it. I mean, just any way you want. It's a great mod. I don't remember who made it, unfortunately, but not right for my playthrough. Any of my other playthroughs, great but not for this one. Uh, I look stupid. Um, eh, who cares? Let's go in here and drop that stuff off. I can't carry too much weight, so armor. Also, you guys will figure out that I'm kind of a hoarder in this game. Um, I absolutely love to hoard items and uh, materials and all that fun stuff, so I apologize in advance. 
Now I'm favoring this weapon so that way I can just pick it up from my D-pad. So... So with the D-pad, you just quick... Oh, one second. There we go. You hit a direction, you hit A, pulls out the weapon. For some reason, it's pulling back out my... Shouldn't be doing that. I guess because it's a modded weapon, it doesn't understand. Okay. There we go. So, it'll just carry out whatever weapon I have. Now I'm very low on ammo with these weapons, so you'll see me probably using the 10mm until I can pick up some more uh, 45 ammo. But here's a bunch of the mods you can do. Oh, that's new. You can update them, you can upgrade them, you can downgrade them. Uh, some weapons you can make fully automatic, some you can just adjust the uh, magazines, like I can make it a quick eject. Um, ooh, I can put a suppressor on it. Actually, I might do that, just so that way I can have a suppressed pistol. That's actually really useful early on. This one, because it's a pure mod, um, there's not much to it. There's extended mag, medium scope, and suppressor. Other guns, like this, I can turn automatic. I can actually do any mod I want on this, thanks to a, another mod that I have. So, let's turn this one into an automatic pistol. Ported barrel, sharpshooter grip. I'm basically turning this into a submachine gun. Um, early on, it's nice to have. Uh, let's do this one. It's nice to have something that can actually keep up and kind of deal enough damage to spread out a couple people. So let's see, range will go up. I don't need range. I just need accuracy. And then if I get freeform cells from the chem station. I can basically put any type of special ability on it to make it a legendary pistol. Um, again, another mod. Don't exactly need to do that, but um, I could. So with this, I have my suppressed 45, my basic carbine. Now this is a weapon I'm going to be using a ton due to the fact that it is, again, a modded weapon, but it works wonders for ammunition. Um, it fires a 38 caliber, which is standard for the beginning game. I mean, every single enemy will be carrying this caliber. Um, it's very accurate, and it just, it just destroys people. <laughs> it's just the easiest way to explain it. Uh, ooh, okay, that's new. I just downloaded a ton of new mods, so just... Bear with me, I'm finding new things all the time. Um, MP7. Part of the uh, tactical weapons kit. I just got it. Okay, up here should be the face masks. There's that. There's a pipe rifle. Now, this gun is absolutely garbage, but for the first gun you get, it's not terrible. Um, once you hit, like, I think it's level 20, 25. Uh, all enemies will basically laugh at you when you shoot them with this. I mean, it's it's not worth it. But for right now, I can pick it up and scrap it later. But it does give me enough ammo for my carbine. Here's what I was looking for. Now, run this back to base real quick. Again, another mod that I picked up was Army Fatigues. So it basically gives me a ton of fatigues to work with. And a different types of helmets and stuff. It's not canon by any mean, um, but it gives me that kind of military look that I like, and it's good for basic armor right now. Uh, let's go with multicam. I love the multicam. And then it gives you agility plus one, strength plus one. And early game, you get leather bandoliers, leather um, shoulder plates, stuff that makes it look a little bit more legit. Late game, you may see me walk around with basically no armor on. That's just because I like to live dangerously. So, yeah.
I also stockpile weapons. Um, later on, I'll show you guys what I do with it. Mostly, it's you know I pick some nice weapons, I throw them to a couple uh, settlers and let them go and fight whatever they want to fight. Honestly, um, they will basically live right here, but they'll patrol. And when things attack, even the ones that are just farmers, even the um, lower level settlers, they'll still just flip out and start killing. They're really good about that. So, uh, I should probably get there. There's a little buddy I'm going to pick up right here. And there he is. Now, those of you who have played this game know who this is. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Okay. Let's stick together. So... Every single Fallout game has a dog companion. Um, they're usually one of the best companions except for stealth playthroughs. So you'll see me carry him around for a little bit. Um, he'll hang out with me. I might get him some extra armor, but you know, most likely when we get to the other companions, I'm going to switch him out for somebody else. But for right now, he works out. Um, this is actually a settlement that you can make. It's actually your personal workshop. Um, Red Rocket Truck Stop. I know the name's kind of dumb. Um, the loving thing about this, the beautiful thing about this, honestly, is the fact that this is straight out of the game's um, trailers. Like, this is the first thing they showed was him and this area. And they just kind of was like, hey, here it is. Um, it's a good little settlement. You can actually put settlers here, put food here. What I like to do with it, though, is this is my personal workshop. It's kind of annoying trying to get into, uh, like, you know, the workshops, the workbenches, when... More rats. Uh, when other settlers are trying to use it, so it really... Because the game doesn't let you use it without somebody else moving, so... Um, having your own little place is nice. People don't use your bed, they don't use your power armor, you can just set it up. Now what I do here is usually I take and um, I have the DLC for making robots and I make two robot defenders and put a shit ton of turrets up. That way they don't destroy my stuff. Um, dog meat is also great for finding stuff if you are in a pinch. Uh, kind of reminds me of Bioshock Infinite, uh, I think her name's Elizabeth, it's been a while. She used to just kind of like find things whenever you needed ammo, health, or anything. That's kind of what he does. You'll hear a bark, and that means that he found something of importance. Uh, not really great most of the time because you have to turn around and follow him to that location. Oh, somebody already killed him. Ooh, a Soviet weapon. Take your harness. Oh, he's naked. But... Oh, he's a useful little companion if you like to uh, kind of wander by yourself. He doesn't talk much. Also, depending on what you do, um, you get likes or dislike, kind of like Facebook. Um, with them liking your actions and loving your actions, you can get special quests. You finish those quests, they give you special rewards. Uh, sometimes skills, sometimes less. That's a more at and I'll go in there in a little bit. Um, and with that, he's the only one that doesn't have an actual uh, quest associated to him because he's a dog. Um, he doesn't hate things. No matter what you do, you can murder a whole town. Doesn't care. That's one reason why people like him. Now, I have a mod installed that even if the characters don't like what I'm doing, they can't hate me. And they can't just stop talking to me. So no matter what, I, it's a win-win for me. Again, kind of cheating, but it annoys the shit out of me that you say one thing wrong and all of a sudden all of the work that you put in to make them like you is gone. Now this is a mole rat den. Mole rats are a mixture of a mole and a rat, if you can't tell. Um, mutated by radiation, a little bit bigger than normal. They like to live in these these little glowing caves they're completely annoying 
Also, I have that as one of my uh, surprise attack sounds. Forgot about that. But, um... Oh, don't want to shoot back. They're annoying. They tunnel underground. Sometimes they get stuck down there. Um, they're usually wherever there's radiation. They're extremely aggressive. And they can catch you in a, kind of a loop. Especially with your companions. They'll just sit there and beat the crap out of them in a corner until they die. So I don't exactly approve. Well, that doesn't look healthy. Should probably move away from that. Now, a good thing that they did with this game is... Radiation actually means something. Um... <laughs> In the other games, it used to be like, oh, I'm taking radiation. And when you finally hit the end of your um, bar, you're dead. That's it. You're just dead. Whereas now, it actually decreases some of your health. So people are a little bit more concerned with radiation damage. Whereas, you know, in the old games, you could take up to like four or five bars and still be okay as long as you do not hit that sixth bar. So with this, I'm a little bit irradiated, and if you didn't see my skin, um, it turned green for a little bit. What that is, is mole rats have a very special skill to uh, sometimes poison you. And the poison is sometimes mole rat disease, sometimes it's like some form of fever, and it just, it just decreases your stats a little bit. Now these enemies right here are blood bugs. Giant mosquitoes, really disgusting. Absolutely annoying. Let's see what I got. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, there should be a third one somewhere. And the reload animation with his gun, if you can't tell, kind of sucks. So bear with me. Let's see what I got. Huh. It's actually kind of useful. Yes, uh, PDW, I don't have ammo for, so... I'm gonna stick with this for a little bit. I know I can pick up ammo in the next town. Now, I'm not gonna shoot those birds even though I'm really tempted to. Just because I know that right up here is another fight. And a big one at that. Do I have mines? Of course I don't. Hear that? That is a raider. And that's how you deal with them. Okay. So my new mod kind of changes things up a bit. Um. <laughs> so usually they have these. Pipe, auto pistols, leather chests. I put in that new mod and now they're carrying some serious firepower. Like this gentleman right here, who's now dead. And that one. Uh, now they're carrying real-life weaponry. Um, AK-47s, sniper rifles, you name it. I try to avoid the raider armor because it's not great. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! what I got. So, Dragonoff Sniper Rifle, AK-47, well, 107, 74U, <laughs> AS-50 Sniper Rifle. It's a 50 caliber sniper rifle. They really shouldn't be having that this early, but hey, whatever floats the boat, man. Picked up a leather chess piece and throw that on. Good enough. 
It's my ballistic masks. Another mod that I have. Let's try this. This is Vats mode. A staple to the new Fallout series. Basically, it's <laughs> auto-targeting. Um, you kind of just zoom in and... It kind of shoots them for you. I like that insult. Jack and ape. Tracker. Is that a new enemy I'm facing? Huh. Must be one of my mods. Oh! Who gave him a minigun? There's dog meat. Come on. Cumbered right now, so that's why I'm walking. Um, yeah, that's that's new. Uh, um, huh? Ah, Wow, that almost turned really bad. Okay, dog meat's either getting beat up or killing somebody right now. I don't know. Take that. You shot me with one of these PDWs. Jesus. You almost killed me. So I'm going to need to, damn, I'm going to need to drop something. Actually, let's see what I got. Do I have pack? No. No, I do. Damn. I'm upgrade this just a little bit, see if that gives me any more. I'm trying so hard to keep this uh, this gun with me. That mini gun's gonna do me a lot of favors later. I think that'll work. As long as I don't pick up any more ammo. I mean, any more guns, sorry. Where are you getting shot at from? Oh. You're new. Like that. Oh, okay. So what this is, um, it's another mod I have open, which allows me to be randomly attacked by anybody. Um, there's a group in the wasteland that wants me dead, so they send hitmen that are like one, two levels higher. So that way, 
it actually gives me a challenge. Hey. I'm kind of like, come on, stop, 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 stop. Look at me. Look at me. There we go. I'm, this is kind of, sort of, animal cruelty, maybe. Um, but here, carry these. Much better. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. No well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're sure. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Sorry. Sounds rough. <sighs> Thanks. It's good to meet someone who nope. really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong, but, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Uh-huh. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Now, I'm gonna throw on one of these just so that way, uh, you don't have to look at my ugly face. Um, now, with these Perfect. characters, these are the first settlers you will grab and the first faction you meet the Commonwealth Minutemen now there's not many of them and you kind of build a little bit later I need you to do this um, Preston here is the last Minutemen alive Bingo. these are just his settlers that are with him Something coming. this is Mama Murphy ma'am drug addict sure did find us some help just who sees into the future He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog mates good at finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. <laughs> Just listen to me. Acting <laughs> a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos and it is angry 
What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm... I'm sorry, kid. Make it quick. They mask for another attack. So, she oh, just gave us the new name the for our dog. Dog meat. Garby, promise. So, if promise. you haven't played Fallout 3, you don't know the significance of that name. Um, dog meat is a character in Fallout 3. A dog. Just like who we have. Um, it's not too far off to say this may be the same dog. Dog meat looks identical to him and was from the capital wasteland, which is Washington, D.C. Now, this is a little bit of a far journey for a dog to make, but being that he just ripped the throats out of multiple raiders and she did say that this is dog meat, kind of gives you a little bit more of an insight to it. Now, with dog meat, though, there is a special perk you can get in Fallout 3 that if dog meat dies, you get one of his puppies, which is also named dog meat. So, maybe it's a common name for a dog, but in my eyes, this is dog meat. Now, they're trying to get a standardized fusion core. That. To put into a suit of power armor so I can rip off the turret and fight the raiders and whatever that angry thing is that's coming at us. Um, problem is, it's behind a locked door. So you have two options. You can take the scientific route, hack the computer, or the physical route of the security gate. Bobby pin. With the security gate, you need bobby pins. You can find them in here somewhere, but I'm also very lazy. I'm pretty decent at this. So with hacking, you can read it right there. You find a potential password, so baton. You hit A. It'll tell you what likeness it is to the password. So um, one likeness, meaning it's probably the second letter A. So let's try warns. All right, three. So there's probably an A, an N, and an S. So let's look for something real quick. There are these bypasses, which look like this. It resets your tries, eliminates fake passwords. It's very useful. So usually if you're getting stuck, you look for these. So there's one, there's two, and it slowly weans down until finally you have basically the answer. Now this takes forever, so I just kind of go with the flow. So let's go with, um, Waves. There we go. Come on, unlock. There we go. Open the gate. Pull the power core. Go upstairs. And that's pretty much how you do this part of the mission. This is still the tutorial phase. So everything's really simplified and explained. Um, once you get further in the game, you're just kind of there. They kind of just throw you into it, so... I'm going to have a hell of a time getting through this playthrough due to the fact that, you know, it may be on a lower difficulty, but everybody has super weapons. Um, what are these? Um, I haven't played with this mod before, so I don't know what to expect. I also sent personal assassins against me, so it's, it's going to be fun. Um, this is new. So, I haven't seen this stuff at all, so I'm going to figure out what this is. Okay. To whom it may concern, we received the, received the new version of your program, but you sent us the Pip-Boy edition. And all these doohickeys you sent us are last year's models. There are hundreds of them, and what are we going to do with all of these? We expect you to send a courier to pick these up, as well as deliver the correct program, the newer models we ordered, and we want all the optional features thrown in for our trouble, including the taser. Sincerely, Jane Williams. Office of the Mayor. Concord. Oh, thank God, I don't think I can take many more of these colonial flute and drums. 
I just heard from upstairs that the renovations are almost done only a month or so more. We'll probably be back in City Hall before Thanksgiving. So it appears City Hall was getting renovated and the mayor and her staff were stuck here. Cap stash. Let me see what this is. Huh. Okay. Um. Ch sure. Um, huh. Okay. Um, we'll figure that out later. I don't feel like tinkering right now. So, bye guys. Gonna go upstairs, go kill some things. That's June, don't worry about him. Let's go up here, to Commonwealth. So what I'm thinking is I'll probably finish off this area, go back to Fallout's uh, main area in Sanctuary, save up there, and then end the stream. That way we can get this loaded, I can go get food, etc. So up here is a Log, some caps, bobby pins. Personal log, United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause, EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so... I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America. Or what's left of it. So I'm getting the vibe that that actually has more to it. Um, we'll see if I can actually make it into Boston. I have a mod that's supposed to make it a little bit easier on me, but... You know, they don't always fix everything, so we'll see if I can actually do anything with Boston. Otherwise, this is what we got. Okay, so on the left, you'll see a little man icon. That is my armor. Um, it's broken on the left left. I mean, left arm and right Boss, leg. We got somebody up here. Yeah, you are. Don't shoot at me. I love the thoughts of these raiders. Is oh, he just took a minigun. Ripped a minigun off of a bird, uh, a vertebird, and is now gunning people down. Let's go attack him with pistols, like just genius. Uh, this fires 308. Down here, show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past that. So this is that minigun that that guy was shooting at me with. Um, as you can tell, pretty much wrecks everything. And you'll see why I wanted to check to see if I had any landmines left um, in a couple seconds. So let's see how this goes. Come on, there we go. Die. 
Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There's more around here. I don't know where they are. Oh, there it is. And... That's why I wanted more out. <laughs> okay, it's a death claw. Um, that's that big and angry thing she was talking about. Usually they're a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, but thanks to this awesome gun I picked up. <laughs> it basically drops them. Uh, let's play this a little bit more like it's supposed to. Just because I like being fair. Come on. Get up out of your hole. Come on. Oh, please tell me he's stuck. He's stuck. I'm just getting started. Who said that? I really need to move my register thing. I mean, my my scanner because it's literally under the uh, sign that tells me how many people are watching versus, like, how long the stream's going. And I literally can't see anything that I'm... Like, any enemies nearby. Are you still down here? Hey! So, do you see how long it takes for you to kill with a normal minigun? That's why, you know, for one, I... Again, I like playing fair. But that's how this is supposed to go, is just sitting here... Usually, they don't, they're not that dumb and get stuck, but... This is how long it's supposed to take to kill this person. So, if there was a demo of Fallout 4, that, that would be the demo. Let's see. Everyone's carrying these awesome guns, and I have no idea why or how. Where's dog meat? Here, little buddy. The funny All thing right. is, like, I'm carrying so many items that uh, it outweighs my power armor. Which, power armor jumps up, I mean, a ton in weight. Another guy over here. I'm gonna go loot. There's there's more fighting behind me. I'm just I like stuff, so <laughs> that's why I'm picking up all these extra items and crap. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna run out of ammo for a little while. <laughs> also, probably gonna run out of cores. So. Oh, I don't even have to fight him. Thank you. So I'm going to talk to these guys. <sighs> Let's see how long this takes. Take it easy, mama. You okay? Fine, fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Hey. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you are on our side. Feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey. Sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other Minutemen. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know Wait, your pain. Something. Now you're mine. You 
say that when you're Zelda. Okay, I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the common. For those of you who haven't played Diamond this game, City, this is not supposed to happen. Around. <laughs> As I said, it's kind of glitchy. More. Look, kid, I'm tired. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Not far. Now, I really miss in Fallout 3 in New Vegas how you could just throw on power armor without needing this extra fusion core stuff, but I see where they're coming from. Um, it is extremely overpowered. Like, we really shouldn't have this much power in this armor and everything, so understanding that they put it in as a feature to keep you guys from you know just running all over the place going wherever you want it makes sense it adds to the stress of the game especially going into like the glowing sea going into the places where it's super irradiated and everything um it makes sense what they did so i appreciate that on a stress level but i also think it's completely stupid on a normal level <laughs> so let me throw this right here so that way i don't have to lose it Drop some of my armor and weapons off. I'm probably over encumbered. Yes, I am. Okay. And when I go over there, I'll save it. Um, and then we'll end it up. So that way, we can get everything done. And I can actually eat. So, And I got most of the stuff. All I need is food, really. And um, they will be ready to go. I should have picked up some of that corn. Um, but for building a little warehouse home and putting turrets up you know I think we survived a little bit showed me a little bit extra about the gameplay and what I'm doing now so I little bit more prepared I wouldn't say too much um, all I can say is I'm probably gonna die a lot because these guns are no joke all right, where's the dog being? come on where are you here, pup. Hey. I also turned off the mod um, for him speaking. His voice went from a normal dog bark to he would scream the F word. So I turned that one off if that's why, you know, if you're wondering why he's so quiet, that, that's why. So. Oop, didn't want to do that. And then I want to check something out real quick. I picked up these harnesses. Okay, so it's pretty much a backpack. Kind of reminds me of an ODST. So I'll put that in the case until I get more of it. Um, but good to know. Okay, heal up, that looks painful, and save up. Oh yeah, I forgot. 
So I didn't change his name or change his save, so he's sharing with one of my previous saves. Um, so that's about it. We went through, started off the game, started off this playthrough, got some modded armor, fought in Conquered, saved a group of survivors who will be here anytime soon. So hopefully I can do another one of these soon, if not maybe a week or two. It's been kind of stressful. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. As always, I am Normal Ed or Wolfie693SIV. If you guys like this video, please post it in the comments or you know put some thumbs up and subscribe for more. And that'll do it.